Ah, why did I do that? Now my face is red. Hello. I look interesting today. Um, to be honest, I actually only really just got up. Haven't even washed my face yet, so that's how that's how fresh I'm feeling right now. That's a lie. I did get rid of a little bit of sleep and like just drool. I did that for you. You're welcome. So today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going all out. I'm doing like a full on glow up routine, a little at home spa routine. I say routine. I have never done this before. Not like everything in one go. I'm gonna be doing laser, my nails, my toenails, my eyebrows. I'm gonna do a bit of fake tanning, whitening my teeth, shaving my face. But yeah, if you guys wanna come along for the ride, and by the ride, I mean if you just wanna join me upstairs in my bathroom, um, then stick around. I'm now gonna go have a shower. I'm probably gonna do that off camera just cause this is YouTube, not RedTube. Um, see you after my shower. <gasps> I wasn't expecting guests. Yes, I was. Right, can you look away? I need to get changed, okay? All right, step number one of operation just to make this look a whole lot better is laser hair removal. So this part of the video is very kindly sponsored by Kenzie, who are an IPL device, which is just laser hair removal. I've had a few sessions of laser hair removal in my time. It is expensive. It was so painful for me. Like, I've got tattoos, I've had piercings, I've obviously got filler and stuff. Nothing has ever compared to the pain that I felt when I was getting laser hair removal. Nothing also compared to how painful it was just seeing that amount of money go out of my account. Yeah. Now I've actually tried other IPL devices in the past. I tried one that I was using a little bit, very well known brand, insanely expensive. That's why I never actually promoted it to you guys because honestly, it was just ridiculously expensive. But yeah, I've actually recently been using the Kenzie IPL device. It is a lot cheaper. It's literally like, I think it's like over half the price of what I was using. And it does the same thing. So yeah, it's a lot more affordable. They have also given me a discount code that gets you guys $50 off if you use the code ST50. So you can just shop it on the website, which is just K-E-N-Z-Z-I.com. I feel like I'm on like a shopping channel or something here. So inside the box, obviously theirs will arrive a lot more nicely packaged. Mine's just been used a few times. So I've just like shoved everything in there. Inside you have the little get started guide. You also obviously have this guy here, which is the actual IPL machine itself. And again, like I said, the one that I was using before was literally like four times the size of this. And then you also have a cable, potentially a bit of a boring thing here, but the ones that I've used before, the cables have always been so short, like a meter long. And if you've ever lasered before, you'll know that you have to pull some Interesting positions when you do do it in certain areas. You will know where I'm going with this. And so yeah, the long cable, very much appreciated. Inside the book, it also has a little skin guide. So it shows like the kind of settings that you can use depending on your skin type. So I tend to go between these two here. And literally all you do with this, I'll show you guys in the cutaway, is you turn it on using this button here. And then you essentially, let's do my armpits for a second. You just place it wherever you kind of want to get rid of hair and you can just pulse it once and it'll give a flash. You can also hold it down. I'm very aware that I'm just, just showing you my armpit at this point. And then you can also hold this down five seconds and then what this will do is as you kind of like glide over the top, it'll give you loads of pulses of light. And even if you've done laser hair removal in the past and you're pretty happy with the results, it is something that you have to kind of keep on top of over the years. So just having something like this and being able to top it up in the comfort of your own home as opposed to having to spend loads of money and getting top ups from an actual salon. I just think it makes life a whole lot easier and like I said, just a lot cheaper. You can even use it on your face. I personally haven't yet just because I have like microblading and filler and stuff, but you can even use it on your face. I think one of the main things for me is that it just doesn't feel like a chore. It doesn't take up too much time. Like I used to dread going to my salon appointments. I used to hate it. It was painful. It was expensive. But with the Kenzie device, I can just sit in the comfort of my own home. And instead of it taking hours to do my laser, it just takes minutes. Since I've been using this, I have shaved once. Literally once just to get rid of like a few tiny little hairs. I did shaving for many years. I've tried waxing before. I've tried epilating, which I'm having like flashbacks of that. That is painful. So yeah, that's step one. So if you guys were interested in IPL or laser hair removal, and if you did want to try that for yourself in the comfort of your own home, then obviously you can use the code ST50 to get you $50 off. But yeah, I actually really rate this. I know it's been popping up on social media quite a lot recently, but it's really, really good. And like I said, I, I genuinely wish I had this before. I spent all that money on the other one. But yeah, if you guys did want to check it out, I will leave a link down below. Okay, so now I basically resemble a dolphin. I want to add a little bit of color to myself. I haven't fake tanned in so long. It must have been like a year or so now. The last time I actually used this was on my Ofra shoot, which is right at the start of January. I feel like if I put just a little bit of this on, maybe wear it for like one or two days, I just look a whole lot healthier. And I need that right now. Sometimes I will also dry brush. I'm not gonna do it today because I did it yesterday after the bath, but sometimes I will dry brush just to get rid of any dead skin cells. But like all I do, it's like the laziest thing ever and I love it. I don't have gloves. I don't do anything like that. I just take a little bit in my hands 
and just slather myself in it. That was probably too much, but oh well. And try and not expose myself on the internet here. But yeah, I just rub it in like a standard moisturizer and by the end of the day, I should be looking a whole lot more glowy. And then if I do it again tonight before I go to bed, tomorrow I'll wake up looking less dead. But yeah, you won't really see like any difference to begin with. Um, it's just something that builds up over time and it looks kind of natural and I like it. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Okay, so tan is on, and even though you can't see anything right now, I already feel a whole lot better. I haven't done anything on my face because I am going to be doing like facials and stuff like that in a minute, so I have just left my face bare. When it comes to teeth whitening, I get a lot of questions about it. I mean, you guys may know I have a little bit of composite bonding on my teeth, and so when I do actually whiten my teeth, I use the Philips Zoom Gel. I can't remember what percentage it is that I use, but I'll link it down below. But basically, I put that gel in my Invisalign trays, and I just use that for like half an hour. However, today I'm going to be using these strips from Icy Bear. This brand is by my friends Martin and Hannah and they're just these little strips. Like I said, I'll put them on in a minute because otherwise I'll just be like dribbling everywhere. So I use those in a second. One thing I did just want to quickly show you guys because like I don't need to actually do it right now, but I'll take one of them out and like put them back in for you because I redid all of my extensions the other day. And yeah, a few days ago, I noticed there was a little bit of matting on some of them. So I just took most of them out and basically just redid all of them myself, like even the back ones. Didn't even need Ollie, just use the mirror. Now obviously you probably shouldn't be doing this by yourself, but if you do need to like refit a couple, if you do have loops like me, then I don't know, I, I did find it quite easy. Easy. But yeah, I just want to show you guys very quickly how I did them. So you can see here, I have all of my little bonds. And I just got a little extension set from Amazon. I think it cost me like 15 quid. It came with like pliers, the little loop thing that I'll show you in a second, all the beads, pretty much everything that you need. And basically, if I just take one of these out, you clamp it the other way, if I can even see it. There we go. So you clamp it the other way, opens up the loop, and then slide it out. Here's my hair. So then if I just grab that piece of hair again and just section it off just so it's not too big, and I'm gonna put my hair in my mouth or someone else's hair in my mouth. And basically, hopefully you can understand me. Let me know. There we go. It's a new look. So basically all I do is I take this loop thing. I have one of the um, beads there, put my hand through the loop, hold on to that piece of hair and then just like feed it through like that. Then I grab my bead and feed it through like that. Shove that in between my legs because I'm a professional hairdresser. But yeah, I've got the bead there. I don't want to put it too close to my head. And then you just feed that bit of hair through there, hold it steady, and then just clamp it in place. And there we go. Nice. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And I just did that throughout like the whole of my head. So now I'm gonna whiten my teeth. So yeah, I'm just using the Icy Bear strips. You literally just open them up like that. And inside, if I can wiggle this little guy out. They just look like this. There's no backing to them, nothing like that. You literally just... Am I sexy? You basically make your teeth wet and just shove on. And they just stick. Just like this. But yeah, those will literally just dissolve in like 15 minutes. Very easy. Okay, let's go and do... Let's go and do toes and nails. Okay, come, come. So again, you don't really need to see my feet here, but um, here they are. I just basically just filed down a lot of the gel that I had on before that I had done like is before Christmas. I am no stranger to doing my own gel polish. I can't really show you guys too much because it is like cabled in over there, but I have my Miley um, UV lamp. I then have these two guys here, so my base coat and then my top coat. And then I'm going all basic today, so I'm gonna be using this white shade here, which is from Nail Nails. And so yeah, I've just filed everything down like enough. No one's gonna be seeing my feet that close up, it doesn't matter. But I'm just gonna take some of the base coat and just pop that on first. Drag my foot thing over here. Can you see it? Can you? Doesn't matter anyway. But then I just turn it on. And then while I'm waiting, I do the other one. You know what, while I'm waiting actually, I mean, I have clean hands, I have clean feet, but also they're mine, so I can do whatever I want. I'm gonna go in with some lip scrub because this is my um, questionable salon today. Put some lip scrub on. And I just do a little bit of that while I'm waiting. Other foot, look at me, multitasking queen. And just chill, hang out with my friends, scrub my lips, lick it off. And then I wanna do a quick shout out to this guy here. The lint, you can't see this, I'm too far away right now. Let me like, oh, this, no, my face, there we go. Professional YouTuber here, hi. Anyway, this is just the Laneige sleeping balm. I use this every single night without fail. And you know what? I'm just gonna put a little bit on right now. But yeah, I'm just gonna lag my lips in that. This one is the apple and lime scent and it smells so good. Okay, so yeah, I'm then just gonna go in with this shade here which like I said, it's just from Nail Nails. It's called their Urban Graffiti and it's in the shade Snow White. Ta-da! I actually shouldn't even be showing you guys my feet because I did one of those um, 
those mask things that are supposed to like get rid of all the dead skin on your feet. And it's been about a week and all I'm noticing is that my, my feet just look a little bit scaly. Like none of the skin is coming off or anything, which I'm a little bit disappointed in. My feet are just dry, quite frankly. Saying that, I do have one of those like grinder things, those like sanders for your feet. I've not actually used it before. Um, so my, why not use it in a video? And then, boop, perfect. And look, here's my foot. There's the nail polish on, looks pretty good. Okay, so then I'm going in with my top coat. I've already done it on this foot here. Ta da! Look, it's me and my foot. This probably creeps some of you out, doesn't it? So I've decided just by looking at my crusty feet after that mask that I do want to use this thing. It's called a foot massager, but I mean, they have loads of different attachments. Oh, that one feels good. It's literally like sandpaper. Oh my god. Oh, yes, please. It's not like those other ones, like those ped egg things, but this is what I need right now. Do you guys like the sound of the sandpaper scraping against my dry ass feet? Because I know I do. How have I lived my entire life without this? Okay, I'm going to do more of that in my spare time, but I actually really, really like that. So now I'm going to do my nails. There's nothing wrong with these. I love these, the Oprah ones, but I also don't want to mess them up because I'm just like, these are my babies. But yeah, these are my current nails, which Jade very kindly made me for my shoot. And the nails that I would like to put on today, they're very special to me. Yes. Fuggler nails. So Jade, my girl, made me these nails for my birthday. I'm waiting for a special occasion to wear them. Today is that day. People always ask me about how I just basically take my nails off. Honestly, like by the time I get to taking them off, they're normally a little bit weaker anyway. So all I really do is just take one of these stick things. I don't, they call it orange sticks or something. And you can do this in a better way. You can use like oils or you can use maybe like a little bit of acetone or something. But I find that, like I said, by the time that I actually want to take them off, all they really take is just a little nudge and they do just kind of come off fairly easy like that. I've run out of it, but I always use the, I can't remember what it's called, but I will also link it down below, but it's like a protective nail glue thing. And I find that's really good, but I literally just ran out and I just lightly file the ends of them. So what am I using right now? Miracle Cure. I'm just gonna put that over my nails. Again, I'm never ever, I'm just so messy with this. Slap it on and don't be shy, put a nice thick coat on there. So what I normally do when I'm just waiting for my nails to dry is I just kind of like line this up with my nails. I've got quite a rounded nail bed, so I'll usually just take my nail file and just round off the edges of Jade's nails just a little bit. And again, another question that I get asked quite a lot is what glue I use. So again, Jade supplies glue that's actually really, really good if I can get into it. And so then I'll just take a little dot of glue and I usually give it a little wiggle just so it coats the whole nail. And yeah, I just squish it on and just hold it down for a couple of seconds. And then yeah, just do the exact same thing for the rest of them. I'll probably take a little bit less glue now because this one's a little bit more watery than the other one that I was using. Slot it on, hold it down for a second. If there's any glue around my nail, I do just wipe it off there and then. Look at them. And that's kind of it. So to save myself and you guys a little bit of time, I'm gonna do the other hand off camera. Normally it's the other eye off camera, today it's the other hand. Um, and then I'll probably go back to my filming room and I'll just do a whole lot of stuff to my face. That's the thing that needs the most work. Okay, see you in a sec. God, I need to sort my face out. Like the rest of it was the easy part. This is like, oh God. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna bring all the crap in my face, out of my face, using this guy here. I got it from TK Maxx. It is by Magnetone. Um, yeah, I think I got it for like 15 quid. It is a facial steamer. I had a bunch of breakouts recently and then when I did that Amazon uh, makeup video, obviously my skin just broke out so bad, like never before. So I've not been doing anything to my skin for a while, but like, I do just want to clear things up a little bit because it's a little bit dry right now but generally it's like, it's kind of all good. While I wait, I'm gonna give my eyebrows a good pluck. These are not my usual tweezers at all. I don't actually even like these tweezers, they don't really work. I've got no idea where my tweezerman ones are. Ollie likes to steal my tweezers, so I think he might just have like, I literally have three pairs, I don't know where any of them are. So I'm just gonna try and do this. Oh my God, these suck. Ollie, where are my goddamn tweezers? Oh, my facial thing's doing something. <gasps> Steam, I'm gonna put my face in this now. I don't really think this through. Am I just gonna sit on camera and just like... Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Like and subscribe. I'm trying to make like eye contact with you right now. Um, be right back. I'm just gonna have a little moment with this. Okay, yep, yeah, cool. Whew, steamy. I actually kind of already feel a little bit better already. I feel like my skin has just been like purged. So what I'm not gonna do is take one of my Garnier 
reusable pads. And I have this Elemis toner. I haven't really used it that much, but I don't know. I'm just in the mood to use it right now. It is, what was it called? The Soothing Apricot Toner. Again, I don't want to use anything too harsh on my skin at the moment just because of how it's been. But I do just want to wipe down my skin quickly just to get any sweat basically off my face. I'm then going to take this little spot thing and I'm not going to go too high on my face because I actually don't really need to at the moment. My skin has cleared up quite a lot. But I obviously have this guy and I also had, what was it? It was something around here as well. Just want to see if I can just kill him off a little bit. And then I do just have a couple around here. Just tiny little blackheads. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that because I can get carried away with squeezing my face. So if I do it any longer, then I probably will just end up just attacking things that aren't there. So now I'm gonna use this guy here, which is my UFO from Foreo. So I'm just gonna take off this little ring. Basically, if you guys haven't seen these. So they're just these little teeny tiny sheet masks. This one is the Bulgarian rose one. And you just, <laughs> this is awkward. <clears throat> Look. Little teeny tiny sheet masks. I did not give you these to keep. You gave me those to keep because you said you had loads in your purse. So you could use them. <laughs> Thank you. I knew he'd stolen them. So you basically, I'll show you, just place it on like that. Tuck him in, little friend. Once again, making friends with things that can't talk back to me. And then you just clip that thing in just to keep it secure. So now it's got like a red light on it. And I'm just gonna rub that around my face. Just because again, I don't want to do too much to my skin because it was a lot drier on my chin. So just doing something like this just means it's not going to get too irritated. I've basically just been lagging myself in like eczema and psoriasis cream. And yeah, it's done the job. But like right now, it's getting warmer and now it's vibrating. What I do also do as well actually is there's usually loads of serum left in here. Like look at this. Just think, we would have potentially wasted that. Interesting consistency in my hand there. What I'm gonna do is, cause I'm gonna use another massage tool in a second. I'm gonna cover my face in that serum so it's all nice and slippy. And then I have this thing. I've not used it before. I've only like rolled it around just for like a lol. But this was from TK Maxx. It's basically like a copy of the Nurse Jamie massage tool. And that tool costs like 150 quid or something. Whereas this cost me like 15 pounds. But yeah, look at it. It's like really weighty as well. And you essentially just do this. Apparently it does something. Who knows if it actually does. It's supposed to be good at like lifting your face. I just like gadgets. I have a whole drawer dedicated to gadgets like this just because I just really enjoy using them. In reality, this probably actually doesn't do that much. I'm having fun, right? It's all that matters. It says it's a revitalizing, firming and painless facial massage. Stones temporarily lift and renew the skin to reduce the appearance of aging. Oh God, I better do it more. Oh, it feels good on my neck. I hold like so much tension in my neck here. This is nice. If anyone needs me, I'll just be sat in the corner of my room in the dark, just doing this. Nice. Don't know if it does anything, but I had a lot of fun doing that. So now I'm gonna take a little bit more of that toner again. And I'm not gonna put this all over my face because I don't wanna wipe off all of like the mask that I use, but I'm just gonna take some off around my eyebrows because I'm about to shave my face. Now, my facial razor has had an upgrade. I got sent this around about Christmas time. It is by the brand Flawless and it's literally just like, well, I'll show you. It's a light up facial razor and you can literally change the razor heads and everything so it's reusable. And I, again, I really, really appreciate that. I just love gadgets. But I don't want to shave my face too much because again, it's been very irritated lately, but I do want to get rid of the mustache and I do also want to tidy up my brows a little bit. So mustache, oh my God, this is crazy. I can actually like fully see everything. I'm just going to shave that off there. Goodbye. Oh, you can see all the hairs. And then also a little bit on my brow like just at the top there. I enjoy this a lot. It's literally just the same as a regular like eyebrow raise that I've been using, but it has the light and the light is very useful. So now that Ollie's giving me about my tweezers, I can just go back in with them. I'm not gonna pluck all of my eyebrow hairs on camera, but I just tend to take from the bottom mostly and just any little fuzzies that I have going on around here and any little hairs that like to appear in between my eyebrows because that they're always fun. Oh, I just thought of something that I really want to use. One second. I've been dying to use this on camera since it came out. I have very, very briefly tried it and I will still probably use it in a makeup video to see how it actually works with makeup. But this is the Brow Sculpt from Refi Beauty, which is by Jess Hunt. And yeah, she sent this to me and I tried it out instantly basically and I love it. But yeah, I just wanna, I wanna make myself feel a little bit better today. So I'm just gonna use it to fluff up my eyebrows. I'm not gonna go super crazy, but just enough just so there's something going on. 
It just makes my brows look so much fuller and just a little bit neater. Ooh, I wanted to show you this as well. Another weird massage tool. This was from Yes Style. And I don't know if this does anything necessarily, but I don't really care. It makes my face feel so good. Um, just ignore any squeaking. It's the, uh, it's the weird little flower things on my face. But yeah, this does actually kind of help. Looks a little bit weird, but I feel like it does just sort of like massage the um, muscles in my jaw a little bit and kind of chills it out. I feel like this is the thumbnail. But yeah, I don't know. I thought I'd just show you that because I actually really kind of enjoy it. So now I want to do something that I haven't done since I was in my old house actually again because I just haven't really been fake tanning. But I want to do something to my face just to make it look a little bit nicer. That's all. So I have some fake tan. This is the Bondi Sands Aerated Self Tanning Foam in Ultra Dark. But first I'm going to use this spray from Saint Tropez. It is the Self Tan Purity Mist. It smells good. What I'm going to do I'm, I haven't come prepared at all, so I'm literally just gonna use the back of this thing. But I'm gonna give this a shake, <laughs> little amount there. And I'm just gonna take this little brush. And what I wanna do is a tiny little bit of contouring. I used to use this, well, not this product, but I used to do this sort of thing all the time. So, I mean, this brush might not have been the best shout, but I'm just gonna buff it in like that. Just blend that around my face. And then what I really want to do, again, just to make me feel a whole lot better, is do some freckles. So I've literally got, a teeny tiny little paintbrush here and I'm gonna dot some freckles on. Again, I haven't done this in the longest time. Dot those on and what I'll probably do in a second, actually right now, is I'm just gonna take a sponge. This ain't clean or anything, it's fine. But just pat them in. Maybe there's a little butt of it just so I don't have any product on it. But yeah, just pat those in just a tiny little bit. And then I wasn't actually gonna do this, but honestly, again, it just makes me feel a little bit better right now. I'm just gonna take a tiny little bit of concealer. This one is the Iconic London one. I'm just gonna very quickly put a little bit of concealer on that spot as well. For no reason other than the fact that I'm on camera right now and I would like to cover up that spot. And then also a little bit of this one as well. I feel like I'm kind of happy with that. I'm then gonna finish up with a little bit of the Super Facialist Rose Hydrate Soothing Facial Mist. Again, just to add a little bit more hydration. Mmm. And again, that's just like a very, very lightweight, very kind of natural product, so I don't really feel like it'll interfere with my skin too much. And I think... I think I'm gonna leave it there. Oh, no I'm not. Lip balm, lip balm, lip balm. I need it. I need it even when I don't need it. Okay. So yes, I'm gonna leave it there for now. I was actually kind of thinking I needed to do a lot more to my face, but actually now looking at it, I'm like, just needed a few hairs plucking out of my face, maybe like a little bit of colour in my skin, and I actually... Feel pretty good. Oh, and like the rolling things, lots of the rolling things, that definitely made a big difference. I like to think it does. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe you learned a few new tips and tricks or something, or maybe you just enjoyed watching me do questionable things to my face. Either way, I hope you enjoyed it. It's just nice sometimes to just do some things for yourself. Even if no one else notices, even if no one looks at me and goes, oh yeah, freckles, they've made a difference. Um, I just feel a lot better about myself. So that's all that matters. If you did enjoy this video, as always, you know what to do by now. Please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And of course, if you guys did want to check out Kenzie, I do have that discount code that gets you $50 off, which is just ST50. I'll put everything on screen and also down below. But yeah, links to Kenzie and obviously anything that I featured in this video today it will be down below as always. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <gasps> I feel like I look so much more alive. I still feel dead, but at least I look a bit more alive. Yay. Yay for materialistic beauty products. I love you.